G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday hour of install. <clears throat> that is a bloody good drop. That's Pirate Life beer, make sure you get on it. So really, what we're here to do today is we're gonna install tub mount fire extinguisher into the Hilux. Now, we've actually had to give you a yucky view. So if you look around here, we've got a nice banner right over here. Beautiful banner with the jelly roll and some stuff. That's normally what I'd give you to look at in the background. But I'm about to give you a yucky view of the warehouse and boxes and all the boring stuff. But well, it's all the fun stuff, you know. Looks boring because on that side of the car, I've got some top secret stuff going on that I don't want the cat to be out of the bag before I actually finish it. So, but it's nearly done. It's in prototype stage, so we're not going to show you that. No, naughty, naughty. No. <laughs> Righto, so we're going to get stuck into this one. It's a bloody hot day in, in Brisbane here today. So first thing you've got to do is grab yourself a cold one. Stay hydrated, legends. Mm, that's that is honestly a good drop when it's cold. So, first thing we're gonna do, let me put this back in. So when you get this fire extinguisher, you're gonna grab it out of the box, right? And it's gonna come out of the box like, ta-da, like this. Now the one we're using here today is a firebox fire extinguisher, 2.1 kilo. Now these are available at Repco, super cheap, BCF, bloody all them sorts of places like that, which is why we went with it, a very commonly available one. However, this size and anything under it will generally fit to our bracket because as you'll see in our bracket here, we have a whole range of universal slots. So we can pretty much put nearly anything in there with all these different slots. So it's definitely worth having a look at what you want because you can get small ones and stuff. But I like to think the bigger the better because when you run around out in the bush, you see, everyone's seen videos of cars burning to the ground. We nearly done it to a car there not long ago, and we didn't have a fire extinguisher. So, bigger the better, I reckon, in these cases. Just, you never know when you need it. So anyways, we're gonna get into it. When it comes out of the box like that, you get that, it's all that, you gotta buy that separately. They're about 40 bucks. You're gonna open our bracket, and you're gonna get this bad boy here. Nice little bracket. You're also gonna get some nuts and washers and bolts. Now what you're gonna need for the install, four mil Allen key, eight mil socket. You're not gonna need the T40, that's the Ranger. You're gonna need yourself a Phillips head screwdriver. And if your bolts are really tight, I'll show you a little trick, a little trick of the trade. Grab yourself a shifter. Hopefully you've got one of these on your, on your um, that there on your bloody screwdriver. If not, you're gonna have to grab yourself like some multi-grips or something. Or you can feed another screwdriver through here. There's like a few little options. Yeah, you can put another screwdriver through there and rip and turn him around. I might show you that one because it's probably gonna be better if you haven't got screwdrivers with the little um, hex bit on it. So these bolts here are pretty tight. So I pre-loosened mine, but if you're gonna do it, put it in and if you're like, and you can't get it, another one, put it in. Lefty loosey, righty tidy, boom, straight off. Easy peasy, it's bloody super good. Gives you a bit more torque and you can get them off. So then you only need this one. And to do them back up, I'll do the same thing because you don't want anything coming loose. Now these screwdrivers are terrible because, I don't want to undo it now. So, <laughs> that was Steve. So we'll get to there in a minute now. That's what you're gonna need there. All we're gonna do now to get in the install is we're gonna grab this bracket here. We're gonna have a look at where it's gonna sit. So you're gonna be using these two holes here. And you're gonna mount it like that, right? If you really want, no you can't. No you can't. So it's the two middle ones. So this is universal for another car as well. So you're gonna to wanna to go like that right there. But you're actually gonna go this way. So see how we've got it, boom, boom, and we curve down. So you want that to actually curve out there and it tucks it in the corner here out of the way, nice and easy. So we're gonna use the middle holes, perfect. Our height wise, I'm gonna grab my fire extinguisher here. I'm gonna line that up middle. I'm gonna start sussing out my height, right? So I want this thing to sit probably, I want it to sit about there. You can go a bit lower if you want, but I want it about there. So I'm just gonna put this one on the middle of the bracket. If I line the holes up, you'll see here the top hole goes there, that one goes there. Nice and easy. So back over here to the workbench. Went too early, L. So first thing you're gonna do, 
flick that open, boink. Peel that out. Ah, get that one out. We're all done. Hydration station, you guys. Hydration break. Cheers, legends. <clears throat> I love, love that drop. Now, next step, we're going to go. Yep, make sure you get it the right way around. So that's our top up here. So top of the bracket. We're going to put the bracket on. Get a bolt washer. Drop him in. Get a nut. Put a nut on the back. But these are nylock nuts as well, so makes it nice and easy. And then we're going to do that one there. That one there. Bolt him on as well. Get a four mil Allen key. Put him on. Couple of Akaduckers. Boom! Look at that. Now that, that there, this here, now it's very important that you torque these to precision torque settings. So, yep, precise. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of people on there going, what the f is he on about? But anyways, it's good, good for a laugh. Don't be so serious at laugh. Now, fire extinguisher obviously goes back in there. We're not doing that right now. We're gonna grab two of these we had earlier. We're gonna jam this one in here. No one in there. I already loosened them. Same again on the bottom. I've already showed you that trick. So we're gonna back these out. Now you obviously can't retain this tie down point because, well, there's gonna be stuff in the way. It's gonna be a bit awkward. Actually, you might be able to. Let's have a look. I actually didn't ask that question when I was told about this install. So let's just have a look, see what happens. It could be completely wrong. No, you're not going to be able to because, no, you won't be retaining it. I'm definitely correct. So we're going to grab our bracket, bolt him on like so. Just in those middle holes, remember? Middle holes. That's what we're about. Oh, it's evident that I have zero idea how to bolt something up. I still don't understand why these guys get me to install these things. Silly. Could be a career for me, yep. Doing installs. Alrighty. So we just do these back up nice and nice and firm. So I'll get this one in. Oh, maybe get in there. Mm. And we go like this. Ah, get him again. Just a bit of extra, just a bit of extra torque, you know. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, okay, I've gone a bit high here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Old rookie over here. I've actually gone a little bit high and done the opposite of what I said. And I've... So definitely put a bit more effort into positioning your bracket. I'm gonna reposition it a bit and just get it a little bit lower. It needs to go like 10 mil lower at a minimum, but I'll get it a fair bit lower just so it's nice and easy. <laughs> Magnet, see like that? Ooh. Bloody marvellous. Alrighty. There's that hole, there he is. Yes, rightio. Nice and simple now. Grab that fire extinguisher you had before. Drop it in. Boom! Look at that, and there it is. The perfect fire extinguisher bracket. Righto, legends. If you enjoyed this product and you liked it, make sure you check out some of our other products. Now, you might like this one here, or this one here. <laughs> Now, we've got heaps and heaps of different products now. PirateCamp.com.au, head over and check it out. If you like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the little bing button, and of course, leave us a comment down below. Whether you liked it or hate it, we don't care. It all helps. Thanks all, Spotlands. We'll see you next week. Yo! Oh, f***. spilled that everywhere.